comfortable now? I mean, you feel like you kind of got a handle on this defense? Yeah, I'm feeling very, very comfortable within the defense, and I feel like I'm a part of it. You know, all the guys we gather around me, I feel like we are in sync, ready to go now. I know the outcome Saturday wasn't what you wanted, but did it feel for you like it might have been your best game as a frog? Yeah, I feel like that was my best performance as a frog. I feel like I put everything together, you know, throughout my game. What, what do you think the big? What, what do you think the? What, what do you think has been the biggest reason you guys kind of improved so much since that Colorado game? Um, I would just say the mindset, the way we go into practice every day. You know, we just going in with the create opportunity mindset. You know, and that's just what we've been trying to do. How much optimism do you guys have for this season? I know you're three and two, but you've lost two games. We have a chance to win at the end of the game. Does that kind of motivate you guys a little bit, knowing that you're very close to being five and zero? Yeah, we're going to every game knowing and thinking we should win the game. So that's just, that's a given. We, we, we're showing up to win. What have you seen from Iowa State's receivers? Uh, we're going to show up and we're going to play defense against them. You know, focus on zero catches, no yards. That's the goal. Hey, if you're coming out of high school, you could have played anywhere. Uh, obviously, you go to Florida. What, what brought you back here to TCU? Um, it's a great environment, you know. Obviously, I want to be close to my family and my little brother. So, you know, I think that's just, that was, that was really the biggest thing. It's a great opportunity to play in Texas again, so I took it. Did you think that that opportunity would come that when you were with those couple of years of Florida? Did you, were you thinking about coming back to Texas at all? It didn't cross my mind until I um, got into the portal. So that's when I, when I made that decision, I went all the way with it. I know it's been a couple of weeks, but it had to feel good to go down to Houston and get a win. Yeah, it did feel good. Playing in front of hometown again, seeing a lot of you know old faces I haven't seen in years. You know, they expressed that it was good watching me play again, so that was very exciting. What's what's been the thing that Coach Buck has helped you with the most since you've been here? Oh, uh, I would say my mindset. You know, just getting me ready every play. You know, going into every play with it. Okay, the ball coming your way. You know, you can make a big play right here. You can change the game right here. So you know, that's the mindset. I go into every play with, and I, I think he helped me out a lot with that. It's only been a couple of games in, in league play so far, but is there any? Do you see any difference between style of play in the Big Twelve versus style of play in the SEC? Yeah, it's, it's much different. It's much different. And even the, the style of receivers we're going against is much different. So, you know, we just have to make the adjustment. I think we're going pedal to the metal now. From now on. What do you do outside of football? Do you anything? Any hobbies? I like bowling. I got really good at bowling. Really? That's, that's something I take pride what in. What average you carry? What are you carrying for an average right now? I'll probably say like one seven. I'll show up to know when I'm going to hit a 170 at least. Really? Yeah. You bring your own ball? I got two of them. Yeah, I got some real one balls. for the strikes, one for the spare. You know? I like it, man. What color? The strike ball, all black. I got a black hammer. You know? Then I got the other ball. It's like a purple and green. Right. You got the bowling shirt, too? No, I just, no. Bring your own shoes. No, no, I gotta get some shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else for April?